Thursday night, a snapshot of the growing debate in schools and homes statewide. With the backdrop of a record number of new confirmed coronavirus cases, a group of Oak Creek parents at the school cafeteria, with the board meeting virtually, both emotionally urging to slow in-person learning. Allowing this disease to spread uncontrollably is unacceptable. And others pleading in-person learning remain. This seems unjust. And I truly, truly think that it's going to be detrimental to our students. Tonight, each district statewide is going it alone. Oak Creek, for example, in a hybrid model, now reporting 19 active COVID cases among students and four among staff, with another 230 students and 50 staff members in quarantine. There's a break point for this, especially when we can't get subs in district and we run out of creative, creative internal solutions. The board here tonight in disagreement itself. The actual numbers here, you know, and the actual numbers are really, really small. And eventually voting four to three to return to all virtual learning beginning Monday for at least the next two weeks. We have um, the highest possible numbers we've had, and we are we have a responsibility to do more. Well, Matt, you said the board made the decision based on metrics it approved earlier in the year. Yeah, Joyce, and it's those same metrics in coordination with health of health officials that will help determine when they return to this hybrid model based on the number of coronavirus cases and its impact. All right, for at least the next two weeks there, Matt Smith reporting live.